Hello. In this uh, video, I want to show you about uh, Cisco iOS, how you can break into Romon and execute some privileges uh, command to read and uh, modify uh, memory. So let's uh, start here. I will show you memory. Okay, so and at this address here we have memory that we are going to inspect. So let's calculate the size. So that's E988, E74, so 988 minus 7C4. Okay, so that's 1C4 uh, in hex. So let's copy this address. Okay. And now I'm going to break in Rommon. Now I can break in Rommon here while iOS is running because I modified the conf register that allows me to do that. Usually, normally, you can only break into Rommon when uh, the router is booting, booting when iOS is, is booting. And also you need to be connected via the console. Uh, it will not work via Telnet or uh, SSH. Okay, so now uh, I'm into Romon. iOS now is it's stopped, it's no longer running, <coughs> but I am executing uh, the ROM. Now to go into privilege mode, see here uh, a list of commands. The privilege command PRIV is, is not mentioned but uh, it exists as a hidden command and you need to know a password for it and the password can be calculated here uh, with the cookie value so you type cookie and you get these values and you add the five first words so this hex value here that's one word second a third fourth and a fifth so we want to add those values so that's 0, 0101 0, 1 plus 0, 0, 0, e plus d 7 15 sorry d 7 15 plus c c 0 0 plus 4320 okay so that gives us e e744 and the password is the last four hex digits uh, these are actually hex values huh? e744 so you can type the brief command now password is asked and you type e744 since it is uh, hex uh, that you're typing it is not case sensitive okay and now we are uh, in that uh, full privileged mode and if you look now at the commands you can see that if you have many more commands one of the commands to dump uh, memory is uh, the dump command the address we want to dump that's the address here that we saved no not this one so let's go back Okay, this address here. Yep, like that. And the size we calculate at 1C4, and we want to see the bytes. Okay, so now we dumped uh, that uh, segment of the heap. So that block in the heap here, and here you see AB1234 CD. There is uh, the typical uh, magic uh, sequence that indicates uh, the beginning of a, of a block of memory in the heap and all the way at the end you have this value here FD01 10 DF this is the, the canary value when this value this is the end of the block in the heap and when this value 
gets altered, so for example when it gets uh, overridden by a buffer overflow, the integrity checks of uh, Cisco IOS will detect this and this will cause uh, the router uh, to crash, uh, so IOS to crash. So we will uh, change those values, alter. So this is the address. And bytes, so when we will just override them with zeros. And then quit. Okay, so now we have displayed the memory and we have also changed the memory. Now we will return to Cisco IOS with the continue command, like this here, and we are back into Cisco IOS. And now, in a, in a couple of seconds, the integrity checks will detect that the heap is long, longer consistent and a crash will occur. Okay, here it is. So this is the crash uh, happening, and after the crash, a file will be written to flash uh, with the crash dump information. This is uh, the crash info file, and then Cisco IOS will re reload. Okay, and here uh, we are again in the boot sub. So here you see. Uh, that the system received a software forced crash and uh, that it is uh, reloading. So this is how you uh, break into Romon, go into uh, privileged mode and then for example display and uh, alter memory.